Australians are not permitted to know if there are American nukes in Australia. The U.S. government is permitted to have nuclear weapons in Australia. What's more, Australians are not permitted to know whether or not this is happening. What's more, not even Australia's elected senators are permitted to know whether this is happening. It's assumed to be none of Australia's business whether there are foreign nuclear weapons in Australia. This was clarified during a Senate estimates hearing on Wednesday, when Green senators were condescendingly admonished by the Australian foreign minister for the very normal and appropriate attempt to clarify the government's policy regarding the presence of U.S. Armageddon weapons on Australian soil. ABC News reports, quote, During a Senate estimates hearing on Wednesday, Green senators sought details on whether visiting American aircraft, such as the B-52s operating out of the top end, are ever nuclear-armed. The committee was told the United States has a long-standing policy of neither confirming nor denying the presence of nuclear weapons under its practice of maintaining global oper operational unpredictability. U.S. bomber aircraft have been visiting Australia since the early 1980s, with nuclear-capable B-52s and B-2 Spirits operating regularly out of northern Australia. Defense Department Secretary Greg Moriarty said the stationing of nuclear weapons in Australia was prohibited under the South Pacific Nuclear Free Zone Treaty, but the treaty did not prevent visits by the U.S. bombers, end quote. Foreign Minister Penny Wong was bizarrely hostile toward Senator David Shoebridge's line of questioning on U.S. nuclear weapons in Australia, angrily accusing him of trying to make a political point and acting in a way that is not responsible or fair to the Australian community, just for seeking answers beyond stock the U.S. can neither confirm nor deny responses on this extremely important matter. So there you have it. The U.S. does indeed have permission to bring weapons into Australia, which can turn the nation into a nuclear target. And Australians not only have no say in the matter, but are also not allowed to know anything about it. It's actually rude and offensive for you to even ask. Can you imagine if another country tried to do this to the U.S.? Can you imagine how quickly a nation like India or France would be laughed out of the room if they told Washington they want the right to bring nuclear weapons in and out of the continental United States, but it's none of the U.S.'s business if they do? Nobody would give it a single thought, because it's understood that the United States is the rightful ruler of this planet. The Greens delivered a strong response to this whole ordeal, correctly accusing the Australian government of pathetic subservience to the United States. The decision for the Australian government to allow American B-52s into Australia is another clear example of successive major party governments selling out Australian interests to the Americans, said Green Senator and Foreign Affairs spokesperson Jordan Steele-John in, in a statement. Whether it be the AUKUS Pact, the cover-up of how Australia became involved in the illegal U.S. invasion of Iraq, or this newest escalation in the Force Posture Agreement. When it comes to the U.S., there is no Australian interest this government has not been willing to sell out. Australia needs to deeply re-evaluate our relationship with the United States and pursue an independent, peaceful, and cooperative foreign policy, the senator added. This happens as Australians are being manipulated into consenting to war and militarism against China in a shockingly aggressive propaganda campaign, spearheaded by our freakishly consolidated news media and think tanks funded by the U.S. Power Alliance and military-industrial complex war profiteers like the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. This propaganda campaign makes no secret of the expectation that Australians should be prepared to pour their wealth and their blood into a future war with China in order to support their good friends, the Americans. Julian Assange, an Australian citizen who has been left to rot in Belmarsh Prison because his own government refuses to back him against the U.S. government's attempts to extradite him for the crime of journalism, said shortly before his arrest, I love my birth country, Australia, but as a state, it doesn't exist. As an Australian myself, I feel much the same way. We are not a real country. 
We're a U.S. military intelligence asset run by a puppet regime who the U.S. government changes and stages blatant coups against whenever it sees fit. This whole continent is basically just a giant U.S. military base with kangaroos. And now we're being pushed toward a future military confrontation of unimaginable horror. And when anyone in our pretend government objects to this, they are chided and dismissed for their lack of loyalty to our glorious leaders in Washington. It would be funny if it wasn't so goddamn terrifying.